This video presents Scatterblocks, our scalable and visual microblock analysis workbench. Here a special focus will be put on the clustering of spatiotemporal anomalies for large data volumes and their representation on the map. Scatterblocks was originally created for the 2011 VAS challenge to analyze an epidemic outbreak using a synthetic dataset of 1 million microblock messages. Its most important components are an interactive zoomable map which can display different data overlays, a hierarchic time range slider that displays a histogram of the temporal message distribution, as well as a selection management component to create message sets, combine them and generally work with them. During the challenge it proved to be very helpful to have a map of terms which describe the most prominent events in the city in order to find the ground zero location of the epidemic. As we upgraded our system to real-life Twitter message streams we wanted to have a similar term-based map of events on a global scale. Here we faced several scalability issues for which we have designed a new term-based message clustering to find spatial temporal anomalies. Also, we adapted the display of the cluster to allow for scalability of the front end. In the following, we want to show the results of these methods. For the algorithmic details, please refer to the paper. In this example, we currently see the aggregated term map of roughly one month of geolocated Twitter messages, which is all we have recorded so far. This is a data volume of over 74 million individual messages. The storage of individual clusters and drawers allows for creating ad hoc time spans to be displayed in greater detail. The same is possible for individual geographic regions because the employed clustering approach is not restricted to a fixed grid. Instead, it creates new clusters whenever the distortion criterion detects an underfitting of the data. Our approach potentially creates multiple clusters for one coherent event. This can be exploited for semantic zooming. Whenever multiple clusters overlap in zoomed out views, they are merged into a single, more important event. Zooming into the cluster reduces the overlap and therefore splits the label into multiple occurrences again, which allows to see the spatial extent of an event in greater detail. Finally, the term map can be used as an entry point to define a greatly reduced set of messages that can now be loaded individually in maximum detail. This allows for examining the clusters in a more qualitative way. For instance, by using a content lens which displays the most frequent terms of the underlying messages. In this section of the video we want to show some examples of findings made with the scatterblock system and its term map. And the first one is Hurricane Irene, which can be easily spotted while browsing over the timeline. At some locations people talk about power, so we wanted to investigate that topic further. Clicking on the label loads all messages in the time span containing the term power. Zooming into a large message concentration splits the power label into multiple occurrences in Richmond. The content lens then reveals an area where outage is also a prominent word. So we select this area and have a look at the individual messages, most of them actually talking about the loss of power. The second example is the spreading of the earthquake that hit the east coast on the 23rd of August 2011. By selecting the related messages we can easily spot the relevant point of time in the histogram of the time range slider. Selecting a one minute interval at the beginning of the event shows earthquake labels in Virginia and Washington near the epicenter of the earthquake. When we increase the time range as if messages start accumulating, earthquake labels start appearing throughout the east coast. 